Hey everybody, it's Dilsey. It's December 6th, 2013, and I have another Living Dead doll. This one I placed a bid on on eBay and I won the bid, and it was for a doll I've been wanting for a while, but uh, I kind of didn't realize until it was a bit too late anyway that it had a damaged box. I mean, the guy put pictures of the doll on his site and everything. But yes, I finally received it today. And boy, is the box banged up. It's really bad. So I ended up winning the doll for 29 US dollars and then with the shipping. So with the Canadian conversion, it came to like 48 bucks, including shipping and everything. So yeah, the doll is misery. And the box is just miserable. The doll's okay, except uh, the skull fell off his hat. And also the skull on his belt buckle is on its last freaking leg. I don't know what the hell happened to this doll. So I was all excited to get misery, but now I'm kind of depressed because it looks like shit. So yeah, it's not the guy's fault. He did say in the listing that it was damaged, but the doll was supposed to be in good condition. It was sealed, but did someone run it over? Want to see what I'm talking about? Okay, let's look. Can you see how, look at this, bent the box is. Okay. It looks like, where is he in there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. Okay, there's misery in his miserable box. See how it's all sunken in? You'll see, like, the plastic is all misshapen and damaged. And I, I don't know why I bought it now, but, you know, I'm supposed to be happy. I have misery, but look at this damaged box. I guess this is one I'm just going to have to display outside of the box. Gathering dust and looking like shit. <sighs> yeah, look at that damaged box. Okay. So this one won't be as all happy dappy joy filled as usual because I'm kind of miserable about misery being destroyed there. So misery was alone, which he hated to be until he found tragedy. Now he follows wherever she may be for misery loves company. I didn't get tragedy, so it kind of adds to the effect. Here, you can see his busted belt buckle. Let me read what it says on a dust forget, then we'll take him out and take a look at him, okay? Misery's face has been wrecked and torn. Vengeance on all is what he has sworn. Stealing your souls like sheep he must fleece is the only way he will rest in peace. There you go. He didn't come with anything extra except a busted box. Now if I can get him out, we'll show you what he looks like. Okay. Well, you'll see why I was drawn to him in the first place. His, his outfit and his face and everything, but he looks like shit. So, there he is with his hat. And you can see the skull is twisted now because I, I had to put tape to try and get it back on and already it's twisted. I don't know why. So we'll take off his hat, which comes off super easy because it doesn't really stay on his head. Okay. Boy, I don't sound like my usual self, do I? You could tell I'm kind of disappointed. So yeah, that's the first thing I noticed was that the skull had fallen off and I was like, oh great, just add to the greatness of this freaking doll. So. His hair is yarn, like a few of my other dolls, uh, Rotten Sam and Sandy, a Grat Bat Malat. I think I have another yarn doll, I can't remember now. Okay, I'll have to go look. But yeah, so he's got burgundy and black yarn for hair. Okay, I think his jacket is messed up too. There's some shit going on here, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, and so he's got a long leather coat. So not real leather, obviously. Right, you see that? It's like a trench coat. It reminds me of Spike's jacket from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, in a way. I think that's why I liked it. Okay, so... Oh, shit. I hope you're not seeing the background stuff here. Got some strange things in my room. Uh, won't get into. So why I was drawn to Misery was his face. I love details of the faces of my dolls and that's why I like the certain ones and I like that he's got these hooks all in his mouth it's like 
That's why I like about Beast, how he's got staples on his face. Well, he's got all these hooks or something. Pretty cool. Okay. And then he's got a white jack, I mean a white long sleeve shirt. I'm assuming it's long sleeves. I haven't taken off the leather jacket yet. Okay, so um, he's got a necklace around his neck, but I, I don't see if something was supposed to be attached to the necklace or not. There's an elastic there, which I'll have to remove. So then there's the belt buckle, which is another skull, which is also broken. I'm telling you, someone either ran over this doll or some fat person sat on it. I, I really couldn't tell you. And then he's got uh, black boots. Okay, we'll turn them around. So, his hair isn't the greatest either. As you can see, you can see the bald spot in his hair there. Which I guess is good that he wears a hat. But that's how it came. It was sealed, as I said. Just damaged, but sealed. And... There's the tie in the back of his jacket. And you just fold this down. That was folded up too. Just add to the junk that's wrong with him. I mean, he'll be good for pictures, but this poor guy is not really going to be proudly displayed like my other dolls because he's kind of miserable looking. There's the belt buckle. And yeah. Boy, I'm really talking a lot about a doll that has an awesome face, but that I'm not too thrilled about how he turned out. So yeah, I mean, I was excited. It's the first time I've actually put a bid on eBay and won, but now I see why. It's because no one really wants a doll that's got a destroyed box when you display them in their coffins. So now I've got a doll that's awesome, but the box sucks ass. And I'm going to have to crazy glue some bits of him. So yeah. I guess I'm tragedy because it's me and misery here. Miserable misery with his crappy outfit. So yeah, um, if you do get a chance to get a doll that doesn't have a busted coffin, I'd say go for it because he is a cool doll. I'm just more than slightly disappointed, but more disappointed in myself for dishing out money for this because I wanted him so bad I was willing to have a shitty box. So, lesson of the day. Don't sacrifice things when you display your dolls in the coffins by getting a busted up coffin to display your dolls. I've gotten a couple as gifts that have been used or I bought some that were used and the coffins are banged up but they're still not smashed up like this. So yeah, there you go. Misery's like, haha, bitch. You're stuck with me now. Now you could be miserable with me. There you go. So goodbye everyone. I hope you enjoyed this most depressing. Oh shit, look, I didn't even tell you about his neck. Can you see that? It's got like scars. It's like someone chopped his head off or something. There you go. I cut myself off. So yeah, goodbye. Thanks for watching. And we'll figure out how the hell I'm going to display this guy. Goodbye.